hello everyone welcome to another video today video is gonna be about how to design the curb on channel which is the curb uh, adapter and you have a driveway how to construct it so in a simple trackway I'm just gonna show you and it's gonna be just a quick video so we're gonna go to ground floor so I have just made this part right so I have other side which I haven't did anything so the first thing what we're gonna do is like this is the place is gonna be house and this is the carpet channel and then this is the road the other side is the same thing okay first thing we're gonna go to the mesh tool and we click at this the fourth one geometric method and just click it and then start drawing the place you want to design the curve just click on this part and till the end part okay just click on it and then it give you dimensions uh, here's division so it's up depend on how many division or layers that is gonna give you for me it's like because I was doing this one at the back so I just did a three and two I don't want it too much to be curved so I just gonna leave it this way the second thing is we have Z1 and then we have Z2 and then Z3 Z1 and Z2 it is different direction of elevation is gonna change so we want the curve to face it on laying to the road so we're gonna focus on this side which we're gonna go with 100 at this stage and then we click OK and let's go and see it on the east elevation because you have to put this one and you will find it in documents uh, sorry uh, we're gonna go to the viewpoint and then you will see elevation too so you can just put over there so let's go here click on it or you can click on the side of this part so let's see how it become so it's just showing me it is the other way of the side and this is the one I was putting on so we just delete at the top so this is other way of the design so what I'm gonna do is uh, mirror control mirror M and now hopefully it works okay, it works so I'm gonna just move it up a little bit to here the top part okay and then we'll figure out how to minimize this and we'll construct it based on that but I want to double check if my level is the same thing with the second side unless I'm gonna change it so I'm gonna move it and we'll see if it is same to this one okay I don't think it's similar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double check to go with a little bit different level okay just delete it go again to this one okay and you're gonna go to mesh tool again so you have to be aware of what type of dimensions you're gonna put on that will be making your work more easier so I'm just gonna put over here and we'll check again I will go with 50 hopefully it will be working like that and then we're gonna do this one mirror control have a lot of layers so because I'm designing other things but I'm just explaining for you quickly about the carpent channel it doesn't work let's go here so let go here and then I will mirror it control M then just move it over here and at the top of this one and we'll see how we can work with this one 200 okay which seems like similar if you want to have double check for example like now if I want to move it to this one because uh, I have designed this one previously as I mentioned so it is similar so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and then I will check the elevation of this one which we can make it more easy 150 by minus 50 okay I'm gonna click on this one and then we we'll just put 150 and that's it so we just so to remind you something, the curve and channel will not gonna be stable like this horizontal. It's gonna be laying down a little bit because of the flow of the water. And this is another part I will explain for you in future. So the water will be collect and there is a curb, so a curved adapter. So I'm gonna do now this type of design. Let's go to the ground floor. So uh, here I was designing one part of it. So I'm just gonna quickly easy way. And I have designed this type of things for the bathroom, ceilings. And so I have here the dimensions. So I'm going to check here 250 by, I'll just double check again here. It's going to be 250 by 250. So 
and then we'll check here we're gonna be which is 100 I'm sure about that oh which is 125 and then here I have almost divided by 2 okay so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna do like this 250 more easier and then 250 okay and then we'll go up okay and then just gonna keep it like that and then we bring a line and we'll try to design here around 100 and then I'm just gonna go a little bit 100 again which is this one a little bit is inclined and then we'll go like this okay I'm gonna delete this one and then I have here an extra line as well okay I'll just click on this too and then cut this too and then there's a curve so what I'm gonna do is when I'm gonna fill it up I'll just go with fill this one click on this one and this then click on here and then click on this point because I'm gonna try to make it curve and then here click click and then click this part and then this part so I might have here now curve which is gonna be a little bit click on it curve and then here I know and I'm gonna have another curve okay so let's make the work more easier and then I'll move this one I have the same similar shape so I'm gonna do right click and then copy it and then we'll go to team windows I mean sorry we and then we're gonna go to the option and then element attribute and then we have a profile manager so okay so you're gonna create a new one so what I'm gonna do is create select this new and then I have previously said curve so I can say curve to okay and then click on it and then we'll paste it here paste and then we're gonna check okay click on it change the color over here override service and then click on this one which is gonna show us different colors I was going with pigment asphalt light color I mean a little bit this one yeah so I'll just click save it's supposed to appear sometimes it doesn't appear if it is very small size so we'll just click X and then when we're gonna go here so to to bring that design what, what we have created profile manager we're gonna go to design and a wall and then we have here we're gonna go here and we click the structure and we have different types of here basic and like three one two options so we're gonna go with this one and then there's a curve then we just draw over here and hopefully we'll get it so let's go to 3d so I can see it's over there and I have to move it because it's showing me like that this the line is not being stabled in the same way so which is tricky sometimes but yeah I'm gonna move it here and I will try to work on it if it's visible yeah. so what I'm gonna do is I need to rotate it I will go to the ground floor I need to rotate it and then work on the edged part which is this one and then we'll put it here and then rotate it control E and we'll put it over here okay let's see been fixed which is good so now I'm gonna work with the height so I'm gonna move it a little bit down okay which is a little bit similar to this one yep. and then what we're gonna do is gonna go to 3d um, just gonna click from here to the end part okay because I didn't do any pavement so which is different till the end one if you want to double check if you want to double check we're gonna go to the waist elevation and we'll check the other side as well 
so it's been designed and let's delete this one okay duplicated of the design of the curb so we'll just finish with this part so the other part was this one uh, how to you can design the driver so I just want to show you quickly what I did which is very simple and easy it's uh, two method I have using the slop and the mesh tool so if I want to delete this one okay, I will delete it delete this delete this okay and this one is a curve that I have made it from a slop so what I'm gonna do I'm showing you very easy way so if I want to delete this one let's delete it okay at this stage and then I have this curve just you can draw it from documents you're gonna go line but at this stage I will just go to slap and then design it like click on the point and then go here here and then try to put it at the point and then design it and then we'll click on the slope there's a curve we we'll just move it to the edge part uh, the same thing let's check the elevation so I have been removing it so click on this one change to concrete to concrete to oh sorry to the pavement stop uh, I mean pavement asphalt so I will just need to work on the elevation which is try to make it sorry 200 and this one it's have to be 10 okay let's check yeah it's good what I'm gonna do a little bit working with the curve one curve side so I'll just click on here I'll move it a little bit here and we're gonna be working on this more and more okay so at this stage I'm gonna do mirror control plus shift plus M okay which is gonna give me double of the curve so the same thing I will just control D and move it here okay so we're gonna have two similar things which is this one so this is a slab of the driver so I need to make it uh, a little bit laying down to help the car to move up to the driver so I'll just go here I will go with small steps I'll go to mesh tools and click the same thing which is geometric metal and then click on this part to the point okay and then we'll change it to 100 we'll see if how it's gonna be working for us if you don't want to separate like the line showing here you can change it it's your choice uh, we'll change the color to um, lighter uh, no maybe concrete with the similar of the driveway oh sorry but I need to check this one concrete Auto, okay. Concrete auto, okay. So what I'm gonna do? Click on this one and try to move it a little bit up. Okay. So here we have this one, and then we click on copy. What I did is I took this one and I give it to the level one. So it should be very easy, tricky, and like what I'm gonna work now with the edge part, and I can match it with the driveway of the line so more easier so I'm gonna move this one a little bit and then fix this one to the curve and then I will click again this one into the curve okay so what's left for me this at the front what I'm gonna do I go again with the slope more easier and more helpful when you convert it to 3d animation so I'm gonna click on this edge part and then again going here click this one and then we'll click this part we'll just make it a curve and similar to this one but I have to minch check the elevation and we'll go with concrete too so hopefully I can get it and it's visible okay. so I'm gonna do here a lot of it to the lower part okay and that's it so there was a little bit editing of this curve and I would covering this all all how it's been designed in a simple way and easy to the edge and curve and just designing the road in a simple way and if you have any questions please write them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe like and share and thank you for watching